Hi everybody, it's Joe Krug from FinSuite. In this video, we're going over the FinSuite CMS library for Webflow. We're in the live example going over the nest component. Let's simulate two nested collections on a single page. Right here, we are in Designer, and this is what it looks like. It doesn't look like too much. We have a message to you, we have our plain text list, and we have our multi-reference items. This is what this looks like on a live published site. We have our multi-reference items inside the correct items. We have the color from the CMS. We have the link from the CMS. We have everything we need, and it is working just fine on these two separate lists. Nice. So this is exactly what we're going to do, and this is the intended end result. All right, let's get back into designer. Let's go over these classes and the structure that we have. In this example, we have three collection lists on the page. We have one of our collection lists, which is visible. We have another collection list, which is also visible. And then we have a third collection list. This one is intended to not be visible. When you go and publish this site, this will be hidden. We are not gonna hide it for this example because we want to show you what's going on here. Each of these collection lists does have an important set of classes that we have to follow and go by. On the first two collection lists, it's very important that they each get our important collection list class. This is the class that our instance is targeted to. So our collection list class is saying, hey, F and Suite CMS library, this is the collection that we're working with. These are both identical, number one and number two, so I'm not gonna go over each one. We're just gonna go over the first one here. We have our multi-ref target. Our multi-ref target is where our collection items down here are going to be pasted into. So our nest category link is going to be pasted inside our multi-ref target div. As you can see from the published site, we don't see that text. The library is going to take any text inside or any element inside the multi-ref target div and remove it. It's meant to be a blank div. So inside your designer instance, you can leave it like this, no problem. You can also leave it like this. The library is going to remove anything inside of that. It's only intended for these nest category links that we're going to put in there. The next important list is going to be our text of categories list. Here, this is a plain text comma separated list of our multi-reference items. I'm gonna show you what that looks like in the CMS. We have our multi-reference categories. We have our projects only applied to the first 20. So I will sort by number. And as I open each one of these up, you'll see we have our multi-reference categories as multi-reference items. And then we also have a plain text list of the exact same thing. Make sure it is comma separated. And each one of these projects has this. It is an identical match between the multi-reference categories that you selected and the plain text. Great. So this plain text is right here. This is going to be the plain text list of our categories. Awesome. And there we go. Uh, I'm gonna leave this text block out and show you that it works exactly the same way. We have our text categories. We have our multi-ref target, awesome. And now what we need to do is tell the library where we're getting the official multi-reference items from. So we need to apply a class to the list item. Please make sure it's the collection list. It's not the list wrapper. It's not the item. It is the list, and this class is going to be used inside the code, our nest multi-reference. And the nest multi-reference is going to say, this is our list of tags, our list of multi-reference items that we are going to paste inside of our multi-ref target. 
The way that the library works is it's going to take the very first child element of the collection item. So if I were to add another div in here and say test, and then I went to go and wrap this item in here, test is going to be taken and put inside of our multi-ref target. If I don't have tests and I just have the nest category link, it's going to take the nest category link and paste it into the multi-ref target. And it's going to do that for every single item. It's going to look at the plain text list, use that as a key or an ID, and then go and paste the correct multi-reference items inside the visible list. That's how this works. We're in designer. This is everything you need to know designer wise and class wise to make this multi reference nested collection multiple on a page functionality work. Now let's go into the custom code and let's see how we can do this with the library. We're in custom code. We're going to go through this line by line. First, make sure you have the CDN library file here on the page. Next, we're going to run a script that is specific to our site, and we are first going to run a function. This function is going to start off by creating a new instance of the FN Suite CMS library. It's going to be targeted at our collection list. Remember, this is the visible list on the page. You can have this class on as many collection lists as you want. In this example, we have it on two. It could be on one. It could be on 20. It doesn't matter. Well, it needs to be on 19 because we need the one list for our source. So you can put this on up to 19 items and it is going to paste all of the correct items to these lists. We're storing all this inside of a variable called insert tags. If you've been following with the other examples, this is a new variable name. Just be aware of that. We thought it was more appropriate because we are inserting tags. Great. Now we are going to use our insert tags variable and run the nest component. The nest component is going to ask for three different options, our text list, our nest source, and our nest target. The text list is the plain text comma separated list of our multi-reference items. It has a class of text of categories list. We went over this. This was the small little text that said cool, funny, fun, and it's plain text. It is not the official multi-reference items. Then we're going to define our nest source. Our nest source is that third collection item, the third collection list on the page. It's the one that's going to be hidden and it's holding all of our multi-reference items that we can select from. That has a class of nest multi-reference on the collection list element. And finally, we have our nest target. Nest target is where we're going to be pasting those tags, those items, that content inside the collection item, inside of our collection list. So the multi-ref target is a class inside of our collection list, and that is the target of the source. We're taking our source as the third collection, and then we're taking the information from that third collection and we're pasting it in collection one and two inside the multi-ref target class. That's everything you have to know about the nest component. We went over designer, we went over the structure, we went over the classes. This is working, go clone it, test it out, try it, and please come to us if you have any questions. That's effing sweet.